Hi everyone, this is Anthony Duarte with Eccentric Engineer. I'm here today to show you my new small scales injector. So here we have it on my one inch scale Pacific, little engine specific. And I uh, have it mounted high in lifting position. And not only that, but I will be pulling water today from about three feet below from this bucket here. So it's lifting quite a ways. In the backdrop we have my Colorado and Southern Mogul, which I've been doing all the standard injector and monitor injector testing on. So hopefully uh, we'll show you more products on that in the future. But for today we're just going to focus on the small scales injector. Now the first set of cones I tried in this, they didn't start to pick up water until 80 psi. So I played around with the steam cone and got it down to start at 45 pretty reliably. And I tested it all the way up to 125 with no problems. So it works absolutely beautifully and the overflow runs dry between those pressures. Uh, I'm going to fine tune it just a little bit more to get the lower operating range somewhere between 25 and 30 psi. And that should be more than adequate for most boilers. The delivery rate is perfect for these engines. It, uh, I, can, I can recover my water while running and it doesn't kill the boiler pressure either. So it, really is a nice addition to this engine. I plan on putting one on the other side and, and getting rid of all the pumps because all they do is kill my pressure. So enough talking, let's see it work. So I'd like to point out that I got a pretty nasty steam leak in my steam valve and that uh, I've got steam leaking through the injector constantly so you just saw it pick up while the injector body was uh, excessively hot and it still did it from three feet and it's putting it beautifully, overflow is running completely dry and I'm holding about 80 psi but the pressure is not dropping anytime fast. Take a minute, let the water drop back into the bucket. It should, since I had just been using it, it should pick up a little bit more uh, snappy this time. So one thing I noticed is uh, the smaller these injectors get, the the fussier they are by nature, unfortunately it's just the laws of physics. So things like air leaks in the water line, uh, it's even more critical that all that stuff is completely sealed up tight compared to the bigger injectors. And also, since all the cones are smaller and there's shorter distances between them, things like uh, feed water temperature uh, play a big role. I, at one point, uh, my tender had been sitting in the sun all day and the injector stopped picking up because the water was maybe around 90 degrees. And I know that the larger standard injector can pick up water up to about 110. And also, since the cones are smaller, it's even more critical to have a really good filter. Towards the end of the weekend, I got some gunk in my tender, and uh, you know, I was taking out the cones, cleaning them, putting it back on, the injector would work for one second, and then immediately get clogged again. So I had to just call it a weekend, kind of early. But uh, if you got a good filter and your water line is airtight, it will be just as reliable as some of the most well-known injectors in our hobby. And it'll suit a, a need that's never been filled before, so I'm very excited to offer them.
So one of the most frequent comments I got on this injector was it's a lot smaller than I thought. And it is hard to tell from the pictures and even in the videos just how small this injector is. So I've, I've got it here next to a penny. Maybe it helps to provide some scale. But it is quite small. The body itself is only 1 and 7 sixteenths from top to bottom. And it fits in really nice on smaller engines. So I want to take a moment to demonstrate how the cones come apart because it's very easy. On the standard injector, the cap has to come off and then additionally a socket has to be inserted into the body to remove the delivery cone. On this injector, the bottom nut comes out with a 3 8 socket. It's on there pretty snug. This comes out and it brings the whole delivery cone and washer out with it. Similar to the Olin Camp injector. Don't want to lose that washer. So now, unlike the Olin Camp injector, which is uh, pressed into the cap, lightly pressed in, this is actually threaded in. So now, once you have it to a safe spot where you know you're not going to drop anything, the delivery cone can be unthreaded from the cap. And then you can thoroughly inspect, make sure there's nothing in there, make sure there's nothing clogging those holes, and when it goes back together, you want it to be fairly snug but if you over tighten it, which is very easy to do, you might have a hard time getting it apart next time it needs to be maintenanced and you, you might risk damaging something. So I, I recommend very snug but not excessively. It doesn't really take a lot of force to get that nice and secure. And like other injectors, the steam cone comes out with a screw. On, on, on this small injector it's only a, a 440 screw. I tried to get something bigger like a 632 but there's just not a lot of room but it comes out just fine with the 440. So I look forward to having these available in, in December. I've gotten a lot of interest which I'm very excited about and on my websites I've advertised that these will be 225 uh, as I'm getting into a little bit more, I think they'll be uh, 250 which I, I think for the amount of work that goes into these is still a very reasonable price, especially if I decide to include two sets of steam cones. So thank you for watching, and uh, if you're interested, just let me know so I can, I can estimate how many I should make. I think... At this point I think I'm going to try to make around 200 units, but that could be more or less just depending on the feedback that I get. So uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, this demonstration of this little injector, and I'll see you next time.